Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show how to create a new store on the storefront server. So if you want to create a new store on the storefront server, first you need to open storefront console. Once you open storefront console, on the left hand side you see stores server group. Select stores here. Once you select stores, on the top right hand side you see create store option under stores. So just click on create store. So once you click on create store, you see these details on the screen. It says storefront store provides the users with access to their web, uh, windows, desktops and applications, mobile applications, external SaaS applications and internal web applications through a single portal from all the devices. So basically users can connect to all these applications from a single portal from any device. Okay, so let's click next. Okay, here it is asking to enter a name that helps users identify the store. The store name appears in Citrix receiver as part of the user's account. So we can enter the name of the store. Let's say Citrix, uh, Citrix applications. Okay, so let's click next. Okay, here it is asking us to enter the delivery controllers information, delivery controllers or controllers or desktop delivery controllers. So it says specify the Zen, doc, specif specify the Zen desktop delivery controllers, Zen app servers and Zen mobile app controller instances for the store. Citrix recommends grouping delivery controllers based on deployments. So here you can mention controllers information or if you're using Citrix endpoint management, you can also add Citrix uh, app controller information here, Citrix Zen mobile app controller information here. So let's click add. Okay, it is asking to enter some display name. So you have to enter the display name and then you need to select your environment, whether, you, whether you're using Zen desktop seven or higher, you need to select the first option. Otherwise, if you're using Zen app 6.5, then select the second option or if you're using Citrix endpoint management or Citrix Zen mobile then you need to select this one so you need to select the appropriate appropriate option and then it asks for the service information so you click on add so here you need to enter the controller information so in my environment it is controller.nourish.com so this is the server name I'm going to click OK Okay, so if you have a couple of uh, servers, you can load balance them and you can check this box if you want to load balance them. And also if you're communicating your storefront server with the backend servers uh, on port, port 443, uh, it means that you have appropriate uh, certificates installed. And if you want to communicate over port 443 with the backend servers, then you can select HTTPS. Otherwise, if you want to just uh, use HTTP traffic, then you can leave it as port 80 here and click OK. OK, so yeah, so the settings have been saved. So if you want, you can edit it or if you want to move next, you can click next. OK, so here it says remote access. Enabling remote access will allow users outside the firewall to access resources, resources securely. You need to add an SQL gateway once remote access is enabled. So if you're clicking enable remote access, it means that you have some users connecting from external network. And if they are connecting from internet or from external network, you need to make sure that they are coming through NetScaler gateway. So if you have users who are connecting from internet, then you can select enable remote access and uh, you need to configure some settings on the NetScaler gateway to allow the traffic to the Citrix environment. So in my lab environment currently, I don't have a Citrix NetScaler. So I'm going to leave this unchecked and I'm going to click next. Okay, now it asks you to enter the authentication methods. You can select uh, whichever authentication method is uh, suitable for you. So in my uh, demo environment I'm just using username and password but uh, in real-time environments when users are connecting from external networks if they are coming through NetScalers then you can also select pass through from NetScaler gateway okay or if you have a different kind of authentication you can select smart card or SAML authentication and yeah select the appropriate option and click next yeah click next Okay, so it says uh, it says you can configure Zen App Services URL. So by default, it's already checked. So if you see here, it says enable Zen App Services URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it 
default and I'm going to click create okay so I'm creating cre I'm creating a stone now this is going to take a few minutes so please bear with me So on the storefront server, if you want to configure two storefront servers, you can do it. So you can uh, add two storefront servers for load balancing purpose. If one storefront server goes down, the other storefront server would serve the traffic. So when you have two storefront servers configured, uh, whenever you make changes on one storefront server, if uh, they are configured to use, if they are already in sync, then what you have to do is you need to uh, make changes on any of the storefront servers. Once you do uh, changes on any of the storefront servers, you need to pro propagate changes. So you need to right click on one of the storefront servers and you see an option called propagate changes. Once you click on propagate changes, it would sync the configuration with the other storefront server as well. So this is still creating store. I think this is going to take a few minutes at least. So this is uh, quite a straightforward process. Creating store is quite easy if you have the details with you like delivery controllers.
so once the store uh, once the store gets created we can also test it just to make sure everything is uh, uh, working fine or not I'll show that once it is once this is done They should be finished very soon. Okay, uh, I think the store has been created successfully. It says, yeah, it gives the details like store names, it takes applications, remote access is, dis access is disabled, authentication method is username and password. So here, you, if you see, we can test the site. So I'm going to click on test site. Okay, it's opening fine. All right, it is opening fine without any issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click finish. And if you see here, the new store has been created. Okay, so Citrix applications is the store uh, store which was uh, created a few minutes ago. So this is the new store and it is reflecting here. So yes, this is how we can create store on the storefront server. So I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching.